what's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Darkest Dungeon. This is Bowtie Sofly coming at you from the Bowtie Sofly Estate here in lovely Darkest Dungeon. So, today we are going to be doing the thing. And by that I mean we are going to be taking on the Fulminating Prophet. So, boss battle time, get your boss battle hype ready. For this battle we are going to be taking Uri, Auber, Cruel, and of course my man Juby D. Uri's going to be rocking the Heaven's Hairpin and Unholy Slayer's Ring for increased damage. Auber is going to rock the Overture Box for increased HP and dodge, as well as the Fortunate Armlet for increased accuracy and crit. Cruel rocking Junia's Head, Tome of Holy Healing to heal us up nice. And the Guardian Shield for Juby D for extra protection and heals and dodge, as long as he's in position 4. And Barristan's Head for extra protection since he's going to be tanking some hits for us. So, with that in mind, let's get underway. So the good news is, today we can take as much as we want. I was confused why this wasn't going down, but thanks to this town decree, supply and provision costs are basically free. So we'll take as much as we want. Full stack of that, full stack of that. Everybody gets a full stack. Full stack of keys. Full stack of holy water. Why not? I probably shouldn't. I should probably save some supplies up, but I don't care. Da 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 da. Gonna be prepared for anything. Let's embark. This raving creature had to be silenced, but doing so proved maddeningly impossible. How had he survived the stockades, the icy waters, and the knives I delivered so enthusiastically into his back? How had he returned time and time again to rouse the town folk with his wild speculations and prophecies? All right, well, that's our friend, the Fulminating Prophet. Let us begin. The echoes of his mindless tittering reverberate maddeningly. All right, so most likely he's going to be in this room or this room, so... First, let's head up. And we are incredibly well prepared for anything we come across because we have all of the items with us. A handsome reward. Ouch. Well performed. What's that? You need some health? Have this food! It's so nice that the game finally gives me a reward for my over-preparation. Alright, I would love if we could get a scout chance over here just so I can make sure, because I'm pretty sure one of those two rooms is where the Prophet is, but I just want to be sure. All right, we avoid the Tempting Goblet. I'm going to crack a torch. Uh, I don't really care about the Bone Rabble. I want to get the Noble dead. So let us protect. Oh, not what I meant to do. Whoops. Oh, well. Guess that increased dodge helped out. Beautiful. Uri takes down the Noble with no problem. Oh, look at those dodges coming in clutch. You're dead. And finally, let's uh let's stun him. Or not. The match is struck. A blazing star is uh -huh. Well bam! And they go down nice and easy. Easy thousand gold for us. Head on in here. Alright, a little bit more difficult of a fight, but nothing too bad. So, we're going to get the advantage, and boom! Noble goes down. No stress damage for them. Uh, we're going to bulwark her. Nice! My buff from the previous battle still up, which is, of course, greatly appreciated. I'm going to stun the Spearman, because he can do some damage, and I don't like him. Bump in the night. Oh, look at that dodge. Left and right. Mmm, those dodge skills, though. Uh, let's go for the numbers advantage. Ooh, didn't dodge that one, though. No, we did not. So, let's take a second. We're going to party heal. Nice, pointless crit heal, but we'll take it. And let's go to work. Ooh, 13 damage. Wow, savage. We're going to rebuff everybody. 
Ooh, look at them sweet dodges. Unfortunately, not on that one. Alright, well, Wicked Hack. Ah, you know what? I thought that was going to take him out. It almost did. Now he's gone. Alright, we'll have him heal himself for 10, so he's looking good. Another dodge and, I believe, speed buff? Yeah, that'll work. And we'll party heal. Go ahead, take your best shot. What y'all? Dodging. Alright, now, I know he can't bleed, but we can definitely hurt him. And let's finish him off. All right, good fight. Good fight. All right, two food and onyx and some more gold. All right, so we're full up now. We'll need to drop some stiff if we come across anything we like. Don't touch the books. Nice dodge. Sweet dodge kills, bro. Uh, medicinal herbs, of course, for the Iron Maiden. Woo, Iron Maiden! And we'll just leave that one food. Don't need it that badly. Pop a torch. In we go. Ooh, and a bone commander. As long as, as well as two marksmen. I was going to call them arbalists, but they are not. So let's start out by buffing everybody up. See if we can get some nice early damage off. Ooh, was hoping for a high roll on that. Not what I needed. But he goes down, so that's one marksman out of the way. And I really probably should have stunned the commander, but you know what? We'll be all right. Just look at that damage. Booyah! And he retaliates in kind. But we also have, I think, yeah, 70 health right now on our leper, so I'm not too worried about the major damage like that, but obviously can't let it become a problem. So, nice hit from our Hellion. Let's go ahead and buff everybody again. Everybody appreciates a good dodge. Get a little party heal off there. And take that. Booyah! That accuracy and crit are coming in clutch. Nice dodge, thanks to our 14 extra dodge. As well as that one there. And we resist the stun. So overall, I'm liking the dodge. Liking the buffs Juvie D is throwing out. So we'll get it four on one now. We're going to have the Vestal heal herself up since she was a little bit lower than everyone else. And whoa bam Another nine damage. Sadly, we do not avoid that ground pound, but everyone resists. I just want to say how proud I am of everyone on that one. Beautiful resist. Get off a good party heal. Everyone's basically back up to full. So good night, Bone Commander. And it's true, prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. We're going to drop the onyx. I know it seems like a crazy choice, but I'm looking to get some heirlooms out of this. And that bag of marble is really not worth my time right now, so. I know, look at me, just casting aside all these things I would normally go right after. Must be crazy. All right, I don't know why I brought anti-venom with me. That was a stupid choice. Uh, do I want two portraits or a stack of crests? I can always trade the crests for portraits, so I'll take the full stack of those. All right, please let me find a map. Nope. Okay. I would really like to find a map or get a scout. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Just so I know where we're at. All right. Pop in here. Speaking of the need for anti-venom. Watcha! One down. Let's buff everybody else up really quick. Really? Even with the speed buff. Alright, the debuff's gonna come in. Blight's gonna hurt. No blight, no blight. Hey, no blight. Uh, judgment. Darn. Spit's gonna... Ugh, that's not gonna be good. Oh, wait, no, she has the lower blight resist. We're good. So we almost take both of them out. One damage short on the overgrown Weber up front. 
And let's buff everybody's speed again. As well as their dodge. Nothing. Ouch. And that blight is going to come in this time. We're going to party heal. Another abomination. And obliterate. So we could take almost everything. We are going to throw holy water on this fountain, which I believe gets rid of a negative quirk. So let's see who has the worst things. Disease resist. Ooh, yeah, not liking you, Auber. You're fine. Those are all easy to deal with. Klepto. Ooh, note to self, take that off in town. Uh, yeah, we're going to have Auber touch this with some holy water. All right, guess not. I thought the holy fountains occasionally, I may be wrong, but I thought they occasionally heal your in the dark. negative quirks. The battle may yet be won. So we're going to feast. As before any large battle, I like to feast. All right, we're going to have her cast Sanctuary. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! Uh, we are going to do weapons practice on everyone. It's increased damage and crit. Can't go wrong with that in a fight. Let's see what everyone else has. Reflection could be good. Accuracy and crit chance. Battle trance could also be good. Accuracy and damage. I think I'm going to go for battle trance on our Hellion since she's going to be doing a lot of damage to our friend. The Fulminating Prophet. So we have one left. Does anyone have any abilities they can use? Negative. So go to sleep right. the promise of safety and we get the scouting chance which is exactly what I wanted because now I know the right direction to head thanks luck finding the stuff Ooh. Is only the first test now it must be carried home I don't have one of those I know I don't have an antiquarian anymore but As I'm not that worried gains purchase spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear there we go. So, I'm okay doing that. Let's see. 80, 70, 70, 70, 80. There it is. All right. We will go ahead. Open the door, pop a torch. And let's take on a prophet. This calamitous prognostication shall not go unwatched. All right, first off, we're going to cover her. And we are going to rip him a no behind. Not going to get much damage off on those, so we're going to go for straight damage on him. Ten damage. Wow, you are a savage, Cruel. I now understand why your name is, in fact, Cruel. So we're going to withstand... And we're just going to eat this right up. I've got my eye on you! Alright, so let's see what happens with... Oh, the stun is bad. Rubble of Ruin's going to come in. Meaning, oh, unfortunately we weren't able to block that. Oh, man. That stun was clutch timing for him, and he knows it. So, we are going to, of course... We're going to withstand again. Let's see what you can do against 72% protect. And go ahead and catch that for me. Booyah! We, of course, need to heal her up directly. 10 health. Not a lot, but it's a fair amount. He's going to fulminate. Gross. Rubble of Ruin's going to hurt a little bit, but only 7? Huh. Child's play. That is dangerous, though. Calamitous prognostication on her. So, we are going to... Heal ourselves up. The reason I brought Auber was because I forgot that the Fulminating Prophet is not the Necromancer. I had in my head Necromancer for some reason, so I was ready to have him just kill all the enemies. But I could have him kill Pews, not in the mood. So you are going to cover her. And he has a nice 80% protect chance. The dodge going to come in clutch. Oh, what a surprise. Guess you can't hit me, can you? That's fine. 80% <laughs> and 72% protection? Please, by all means, hit me. 
I dare ya. Let's go ahead and get her health back. Getting a little damage off on him. And we will continue to Iron Swan, just decimate that back row. Let's see how high our protect chance can get, shall we? Still only 72%. That's fair. Rubble of Ruin, gonna come in. 10 and 6, nothing I can't handle. Another Calamitous Prognostication. So we're gonna take that hit again. We're gonna Party Heal. And I know this is a little bit of a slow fight, but let's put it this way. We are very unlikely to die. Very, very unlikely to die. And look at all those buffs. Oh my goodness. Fulminating Profit. Proving to be quite little challenge. Oh wow, three damage. All right, let's go ahead and take some of these pews out. Surprised we haven't gotten a crit yet with her. We do have increased crit chance with her right now. Uh, I'm gonna party heal. Nice crit heal, get rid of some stress too. Juvie D actually gonna come in and guard her to take that hit. Fulminate's gonna hurt. Get a little blight going, but nothing too bad. And Rubble of Ruin's gonna be dodged actually, so that worked out pretty well. Alright, on the two characters that can easily take those hits, sure thing. You do what you gotta do. Nice 24 damage, so he is dead next round. I am all sorts of okay with that. We'll increase everyone's dodge and speed just a little bit. We're gonna wreck those pews. And let's see if we can get him down now. Oh, he dodges! No! Fulminate's gonna be dodged by us, of course, though. And here comes Rubble of Ruin. Last round, 26%. Yowza! Or not 26%, but 26 damage. So, uh, yeah, I got enough food to heal him if I need, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say goodnight to the Fulminating Prophet. All right, Disease Charm and a Move Stone. Can't say I'm thrilled with those. And it looks like I froze right after my triumphant boss battle. So I'll be back in just a sec. The echoes of his mindless tittering reverberate maddeningly. All right, so we're back and we're not taking any of this junk. We are going to continue adventuring, though, because I want to see what we've got in the rest of this dungeon. So let's make our way back because we can afford to. Mm, a battle. Pity for you. So we'll increase everyone's dodge and speed real quick. Make it nice and easy to take him down. We are of course going to heal up the 26 damage that was done in that last shot. For some reason I let his protect run out. That wasn't good. Low roll on that. Not great. But let's see if we can take them both out. We get one, almost get the other. Thrust thine spear into my belly. Oh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and heal him up first. That's fine with me. Watch out. Have them switch back. And say goodnight. 38 damage, wow. All right, this time we dodge the spear thrust, thankfully. Go ahead and increase our dodge and speed again. Have her heal herself up for a nice 11 health. And say goodnight. All right, we are now carrying a bit too much. And I think we'll leave the bus for now. We already have six. And we already got that, so let's head up. A lot of things happening in this hallway. Like the look of that. Ooh, that's an ugly fight, but we get the surprise first, so let's make it rain. We're gonna start out by buffing everyone's dodge and speed, of course. Then, let's see. 
If I do that. No, we're going to try and take this gargoyle out. We do, which is lucky. We're going to party heal, get everyone up to closer to full health. And was hoping we'd get a crit on that. We don't, but he'll be dead next turn. Flurry of Claw is going to hurt a little bit. Nothing bad. We both resist the move. Skull Toss going to cause some stress. Ooh. So we might have to throw her in after this. And the stun. That's bad. Lash of the Tail going to possibly stun as well. But we resist. And say goodnight. There's the crit that I needed last turn. Howl's going to cause a little more stress damage, but we dodge. Beautiful. And let's make sure that dodge happens again. And now let's say hi to our unholy friend. So, first off, we're going to miss our chance to stun. That's unfortunate. Skull Toss going to come in, but we dodge. A dodge for a dodge. Nice 13 damage there. Going to buff ourselves again. And next turn, we should be able to take this thing out pretty easily. And there it is. All of these things that I want. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to take the ruby instead of the onyx. I like the way they look. We'll go ahead and burn this torch now. It's pretty light. Well, I am both brave and foolhardy, so let's see what's in this room. Boonie guys! That's unfortunate. Why are we frozen? I don't know, that's very irritating. I apologize, I'll be back once again. The echoes of his mindless tittering reverberate maddeningly. All right, and we are back. Don't know what happened there. Uh, when I went to reload, it actually sent me back to like an old file of this where I was on week 16. So I got really worried for a sec, but we're back. We're just as good as ever and we're fighting. But I also had an unnecessary heart attack in the meantime. So I'm glad it didn't screw me over. So, let's take him out. Oh, I probably could have chopped him, or hewed him, but you know what? Let's heal everybody up a little bit. Why not? I want her to try and get uh, a crit if she can. Because I would love for her to heal up some stress. But, you know what? Screw it. We'll kill. And I'll just use all the amazing gold I'm going to get from this mission to pay for it. Don't need bandages anymore. Continuing adventuring. We're fine. Let's unlock this previously locked sarcophagus. What? More money? You so crazy. Uh, let's see. We'll just go ahead and do this. And now we are immune to everything. So we're going to head all the way back around and up. Actually, we'll probably head down first. I'm going to explore the whole dungeon. Hope no one minds. I know the exciting part is out of the way, but I always find it's best to fight the boss immediately. That way you at least clear the mission. So we are, of course, going to buff ourselves. Hopefully that speed boost will let us outspeed the Enchantress. Most likely not. Ow. And of course, gonna go after the most stressed character. Why not? Makes sense. Throw out the dodge there. And you don't get to play with us anymore. No, you don't. Darn it. <sighs> Alright, well let's see what we can do here. Ooh, we do get to act first. And she's dead. Yay! Ding dong, that is dead. Let's party heal up a little bit there. And I 
guess instead of buffing our speed and everything from now on, I should just protect her. Rend for the old gods. So we'll heal him up directly for a nice 11. Ren's gonna come in. Ouch. And that'll do some nice damage. As will that. Kaboom! 35 damage. This expedition at least promises success. Alright. So we're gonna walk away from this quite rich, which is fantastic, because we're gonna need to spend some money to heal all that stress. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. So it appears we have some more things in this hallway. Spiders I'm not too worried about. Fast moving spiders I am. So let's quickly have everyone buff themselves. Ouch. You're dead. Everyone heal up a little bit. And moving on. Darn right, a lot of impunity there. Alright, I know you have a 70% chance, but... Yes, that paid off. We healed a little bit of stress. Alright, we're heading down, then up. What's that? Don't use a torch right now? Okay. I won't. Jubilee's getting stressed out just by walking through these hallways like, bro, can we leave? We killed we killed the prophet. He's dead. He is dead. He ceases to be. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Alright, so that heaven's hairpin is useless right now. Why? Why must you go after her? There's three other people on my team. God. <sighs> All right, we're gonna try and stun her just in case we can't hit her and kill her. I gotta say, the stress damage sometimes gets out of control. They just target one person down to drive them insane. It's irritating to say the least. So we'll buff everyone's speed. Next turn, we'll protect her. We'll buff ourselves up. Why not? We got a turn. And he's going to dodge. So really bad first round for us. She's dead. And I'm going to buff everyone again. Nice dodge. Also nice dodge. We'll party heal up. And that'll get him into a nice range. Down he goes. And now we can focus on him. 17's going to take him almost all the way down, and the chop should kill. Beautiful. Collecting some more items we already have. But in a good way, of course. All right. Now we'll head back up quickly. Uh, first hunger activation we've had in a while, so not too bad. We can afford to sit through two more hunger activations before I'll have to pop out of the dungeon. Let's head north. I'm telling you, the leg strength you got to have to make it through these dungeons. Woo! Let me tell you. Keep an average level of light going. Another hunger activation. Not liking that. Maybe we'll pop that other torch. And that was actually the perfect idea because we have just enough radiant light to surprise our enemies as well as have her heaven's hairpin work out for us. So, uh, much as I'd like to buff our speed and everything, I am going to take stress attacks from her. Go ahead and stun her. 
See if we can kill. Uh, we don't kill, and that is going to cause us a problem in a little bit. And so everyone's just injured. That's really a bad turn for me. So he'll take the Tempting Goblet. Not great, but... Rather, she didn't go insane. Ow. See, so she would have definitely been insane had we not protected last round. Like, really? All three of them onto her. Really? Okay. No, nope, that's fair. That is fair. I'm allowed to gang up on enemies, so so are they. With that in mind, I'm going to murder every single one of them for making me angry. And let's all be a little bit faster next round. Thankfully he dodges, otherwise that could have been bad. We're going to say goodnight to her. And although we're getting great treasure for staying in here longer, I now I'm going to spend more of that on stress relief for these two. Beautiful crit to kill the bulwark. Or bulwark, I should say. But a victory nonetheless. Indeed it is. Uh, I am going to drop... Shovel. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Green like molten envy. I'm gonna hold on to those for now. Watch that, like, shovel, like, right there. All right, I made the correct decision in dropping shovels because there is nothing that would require them. Go me! Party me up in this mofo. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Thank you. I did think I performed that task well. Oh, game. You just get me. There we go. This is exciting. I'll actually get to open a curio this time, as long as we don't go klepto. I'm going to increase our dodge, because either one of them could go insane if they get hit with that. Beautiful crit. I will take that all day. And down goes the stress dealer. All right. So that worked out really well. Ooh, good dodge there. We do need to heal her up a little bit, so let's buff up. I was hoping for 10 or 11, but 8 will work. Yeah, we'll go ahead and protect her. Why not? Don't need to, though, because, of course, he is dead with that crit. Get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. All right. Good. No one's doing this. This is exciting. I finally have a key, and no one's trying to break into it. And, of course, I can use exactly nothing in here. All right. That's what I get. That is what I get. So we'll take those instead of that. We got a lot of money. Wow. 9,000, then 750. So about 9,750 gold. So we're going to walk away probably with about close to 20,000 with treasure and then the quest rewards. We're going to have everyone get that dodge up and that speed up because you need to dodge it. Oh, clutch dodge. And I need to make sure she can't do that again next turn. Oh, I didn't need the dodge though. That was really bad. Axe Blade not too bad. Taking it right on the chest there. Good news is she is down. <coughs> Qu 
squirrel's gonna hurt a little bit. Not too bad. All right, we got a nice four on two advantage here. So I'm gonna take the time to direct heal our leper. Might have been better to party heal since that was a little low. And we dodged dead weight. Always good. So we're gonna get some damage in on the back here. And then hopefully have our Hellion finish him off this turn. With Iron Swan. Oh baby, the crit is beautiful. Down goes the bulwark, and we are set. Holy Jesus. All right, well, it may be merely a trick of the light. We're going to switch those out for those. Uh, again, I'm keeping the crests and stuff like that because I want to trade them out for other heirlooms, and I want to help still build the town a little bit. Those do nada. So we're going to head back this way and finish up that final hallway before calling it a mission. The light, the ah, you know what I could have done? Unlike the moron that I am, could have just dropped the torches since I'm not gonna need them after this hallway. So, cost myself a thousand gold, but you know what? At the end of the day, I think we'll be all right. And here comes Klepto to steal the pack with a map inside. So, you know what, screw it, yellow. In radiance, may this could be a bad victory. idea. And most likely will be when, yeah, we wind up getting driven insane. But I was in the mood for one more fight. Plus, let's see what happens. Yeah! Powerful! So that worked out beautifully. Uh, I'm going to pretend that I planned it that way, that I knew that would happen. But we have just now reduced the need to put her into stress heal before the next mission. So that saved me a little bit of money. Thanks, self! <laughs> you always know what's best for me. Okay, that missed. That's unfortunate. That missed. That's fortunate. We're going to stun her. Because I don't think we're going to get lucky twice. And let's deal some damage. Nice. Exactly what I hoped for. She's down, he's dead, almost. And we are making it W E R K work in this hallway. I'm gonna bide my time a little bit here and get her down as low as possible with the stress. Because she is powerful. Kneel before the power of Cruel. We'll, of course, buff our dodge and speed so we can go really fast and miss getting hit by most of his attacks. And I gotta say, although this party can't really hit the back too well, only two people can, worked out pretty well in this mission. I'm pretty happy. So we're probably going to get a little more stress damage to everyone here. No, maybe not. You know what? That's good enough. Three bars is fine. As victories mount, so too will resistance. All right. I think that's a pretty good haul for this dungeon. Let's call it a day. So walking away with a lot of things that I like. First off, 6750 from the quest reward, plus another 15,000 bringing us almost to 22,000 gold on that mission. We, of course, got the Blasphemous Vial for the Plague Doctor. We already have one, but I love this thing so much that I'm going to keep the second one. We also are walking away with four busts plus another six, so ten busts, 29 crests, and ooh, excuse me, six deeds. We also have level five, level five, level five. Juvie D is going to be hanging around for one more mission with us in the level fours before becoming a champion. And Beast Hater's great, Eldritch Slayer's great, Ruin Scrounger, not bad. So you know what? That was a wonderful mission. A lot of things could have gone wrong, but we held out, 
We persevered. We found out that Cruel is powerful, mighty, amazing. Can you feel it? The walls between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension. Oh, dear God. Tenuously thin here. And John Carter, for the win, is of course going to continue his streak of just getting as many negative quirks as possible. Now he can no longer meditate! So, let's actually just see what he's got going on in his life. John Carter for the win, so... Now he's not allowed to visit the brothel. He's not allowed to meditate. Dear God, man. Get yourself together. But overall, a very successful mission. Uh, nothing in terms of Town Crier or anything like that. We are going to want to put Juvie D somewhere to make his brain better. Improve your brain, sir. Ah. Some nice, sweet meditation. Let's quickly check the Nomad Wagon. Uh, bright Tambourine. Hmm. That's not bad, actually. I have the money. I'm not going to buy it, though, because I don't like buying things from this, especially since they are expensive and I'm cheap. Could reduce the trinket cost even more, but... Uh, I don't know. For now, I'm not going to do anything with that. And let's check the stagecoach really quick. Nothing that great. We are going to upgrade to fully experienced recruits. So, in our next episode, we'll be able to see just how powerful our experienced recruits can become. But that's going to be it for today on Darkest Dungeons. So, as always, if you're enjoying the content, you're excited for more, do be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, of course, if you would like me to name a character after you, or you would like to choose the name of the character yourself, do be sure to let me know, and I'm happy to make that happen. But for now, this is Bowtie SoFly saying have a great day, and stay fly.